just gonna keep dropping. Hey, what's going on, guys? Swade here. Just wanted to give you my first impressions on Apex Legends Solos mode. I've been wanting this for a very long time, uh, ever since I started playing the game. I've made a few friends playing the game, but I really have wanted solos just for something to pass the time or just for something to play whenever I don't have teammates or friends that I that can play with me. So uh, I've really wanted solos. I've always been, especially in the BR mode or games, I've always loved the solo aspect of things. I, I think I've always been back, even back into Call of Duty, I've always played free for all. That was like my game mode. So I, I don't, I, that's really irrelevant, but I just like the solos aspect of things. It'd be kind of nice to see duos, but I don't want to ask for too much. I just wanted to give my first impressions on the solo mode and how it's played. I knew that there was going to be a, a different way to play solos as opposed to playing squads. Now that might seem obvious, obviously, right? Uh, if you're playing with with three guys as opposed to just by yourself, then you're going to have to play a different way. However, the same kind of issues, or I don't really know how to say it, but just the same kind of things that you run into in squads, I'm, I'm noticing that I'm running into as well in solos. Mainly what I'm talking about is the third party. So I, I think we can all relate to the issue or the, the, the fact that you get third party so much in this game, I feel like, I, compared to any other BR. I mean, there's, there's going to be third party in any BR, of course, right? But I really think in this game, games are made or broken by getting third party. You could be slaying out, you could just be destroying people, and you're going to finish that second team or that third team, and then all of a sudden, just when you go to heal up or get loot or whatever, there's going to be that last guy. Even if it's one solo guy left on the team from, the, from a team you didn't quite finish off uh, right away, they come and they kill you. So... I've noticed uh, day one of solos wasn't too bad, but I did notice like as I continue to play the game more and more that you'll run around the map sometimes where, you know, you, you don't see anybody for a long time. Then you, you find one person and then there's the second, then there's the third, then there's the fourth. And then you see some guy running across the ridge at the top and then some guy comes in from behind. And you're like, where the hell did all these people come from? So I think being that the game, excuse me, being that the mode has only been out for a couple days now. I think it's just gonna be a matter of learning how the flow works. I mean, I think all of us kind of know the hot spots on the map. They kind of, we kind of know, um, you know, where to expect more of a third party uh, engagement to happen as opposed to others. Not gonna happen obviously anywhere, but you know, if you if you run bunker, chances are there's gonna be a third party regardless of what game mode you're playing, right? So I, I just think that, uh, the third partying piece from the solo's perspective is just a matter of learning how to play in that scenario. So for instance, I don't know if it was this gameplay or not, but I was in a position where I was running up to cage and I heard two people in cage fighting. And I just sat there and I was like testing this almost. So like, I'm just gonna sit here for a second. I could run in there and run and gun and probably die, but I could run in and run and gun and try to kill them both or kill one of them. And I could third party that for sure, yes, but who's gonna third party me or fourth party me, right? So I just kind of sat out waiting and surely enough, man, up on the ridge, there comes a guy. Then there's a guy that's coming from like mid map. And I'm like, isn't this some shit? You know, I'm, I was literally just getting ready to run in there and try to pick up the third party kill. And here come two guys. So I sat outside waiting. The guy tries to zip line away. I shoot him in the back. Gas is on my back. So I'm like, there's nobody behind me. I, I, you know, no problem. I'm going to get this kill. And sure enough, man, I get shot in the back. And I'm like, of like of all places to get killed from, it was there. So I, I honestly just think a lot of that is just the way the game is going to be played. Just trying to figure that out, right? You can't do the run and gun in this game like you can in some other games just because of how long it takes to heal up. Uh, you know, you could take out a full team, but... If, if you don't got if you're not lifeline and you don't got a, a, a gold backpack then it's going to be tough it's going to take you some time to heal up on top of that you might have to loot some stuff just to just kind of keep your inventory up to date um so i think the healing aspect of it is kind of what hinders you from really running and gunning uh, if you could heal up super fast and that then i think you could you know people would just all these pros would be running around just killing everybody like no problem so but i think in, in the same sense i think having the healing be as uh uh, as as slow as it is, I guess, if you want to say that, um, that kind of helps keep the game less chaotic. I mean, it's still chaotic as it is, but imagine if you could heal up in two seconds, you know, Phoenix kits two seconds long. I mean, it would just be just mayhem all the time, you know, and some people might like that, some people not. But anyway, my point is, I'm kind of getting off on a tangent. My point is, is that I think it's just a matter of time uh, before we kind of find the meta 
if you will, of how the solos need to be played. So anyway, I, I don't want to keep rambling. I feel like I'm rambling at this point. So I'll just just enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Uh, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. If you if you guys want to leave a like, subscribe, comment, do all that cool shit. Uh, I'll read the comments, maybe make a reaction video. I'll get another solo win that I'm going to upload as well. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, leave your comments down below. I read everything. Um, and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me keep this a little bit. That's over there. I really don't want to push that because my luck is I'll get cocked. I mean, they're going to have to be coming here soon. I hate playing like this, but I, th I just think it's the best thing. And I think there are shots up there too. I really didn't want to fall off of that, but okay. Alright, there's guys over here. They might have, I think they, they probably went through Bonker knowing the next circle. circle. Did no one looted this? What the hell? It's actually nuts.
care package. That's a team. That's somebody's over there. game crate coming in I think that's I think I see him up there hopefully I don't get crabbered in the head just gonna get in the circle I feel like that's the play spot make sure I don't get pushed Is that guy over there what's that My first solo win, Yayi. You are the Apex Champion. Yay. 